I hear it more from patients. Patients will tell you I have chemo brain. And it's basically, it's a cognitive, you know, deficit that happened. It's not necessarily, it's difficult because we're not sure if it's coming from the chemotherapy regimen, if it's coming from the cancer, the tumor itself, or the physical and emotional stress that patients are going through, right? So with chemo brain, what it is, is that patients have a difficult time focusing um, during their cancer treatment. They have difficult time completing tasks. Um, they have difficult time sometimes remembering things. Um, and it takes them longer to complete things that in the past they will complete in a shorter period of time. It doesn't happen for all patients. Not every patient has chemo brain. Um, oftentimes, most patients, after their cancer treatment is over, um, this chemo brain or chemo fog or brain fog that they mentioned does go away and does dissipate. But I think a lot of it is the emotional stress. Patients are not sleeping well. You're up all night thinking about your cancer diagnosis that you weren't even expecting was going to happen. And now you're, you're going through chemotherapy. It's impacting not just you, but your family, right, friends. And so it's just, it's a lot of patients are going through. So there's a lot of stressors. So I think that psychological component is, plays a significant role when it comes to chemo brain. Because a lot of patients even have that sometimes before you even start treatment, right? So I don't know if we can necessarily say that it's all from the chemotherapy. Also, we are messing with endocrine therapy, estrogen hormones, which causes a lot of symptoms as well. So right. multifactorial for sure when it comes to chemo brain and all of that. 